Welcome to lesson 3.3. Here we're going to look at the display modes uh, that we have available for stones. A very common problem that we've known uh, with uh, 3D programs is uh, these stones with all these facets, uh, as we start to add more and more and more, get to be a problem for our computer's memory. And the computers begin to lag. Uh, obviously, with these four stones, that wouldn't be a problem. But if you were trying to do a pave, with some round stones on a surface and you have to you get 300, 400 stones in there, uh, unless your computer is a very, very powerful system, you're gonna start losing uh, capabilities to move around and to be able to work easily. So what we've done here is we've added a way to display the stones uh, in simple shape or real shape. Uh, for example, if I pick this stone, Maybe these stones are the ones that are bothering me. I can select that stone and notice it's a simple shape right over here. If I click on that, notice it turns the stone into very simple geometry. I can do that to all the stones that I need. For example, I can pick these guys also, simple shapes, and notice that they no longer have all the faceting that a normal stone would have. I can pick them all if I want to, put them all in simple shape. When I want them back to real shape, I can go ahead and put that back and go back to real shape and notice they all go back to the real shape. Now obviously the program still recognizes even, even if they are in simple shape, we can still add vessels, we can still do heads and prongs, it still recognizes the stones when they are in simple shape so there's nothing to worry about. You're not losing any, any functionality. Uh, on top of that, uh, even if we have them in simple shape, maybe uh, maybe we're still having issues. So what we've done is we also have a uh, mode for display. So for example, we can select these tones here and go to the display mode. And maybe instead of with all color and transparency, we want them to always display only shaded, no matter what mode we're in Rhino or Rhino Gold. So we go here to shaded mode. Notice they are now showing in shaded mode. They don't have any uh, reflectiveness or anything that the normal rendered view would have. Now, also on top of that, we could also decide that we want these stones to show in wireframe, even to save even more memory. And now, no matter what mode we're in, those stones will always shade in uh, wireframe. And we're not going to be losing uh, memory and we'll be able to add, you know, a thousand of these stones without having any issues with our. Uh, computer. Also remember that if you go to uh, TDM and then you go to your user profile, see right here you have an option to use simple shape by default always. So if you know that you work with a lot of complex uh, models with a lot of stones and your your computer is having issues, go to the go to your user profile, set this on uh, to on and then you'll never have to worry about your computer running out of memory because the stones will always be displayed in simple shape. You know, And to turn them back to regular, we can just go back to there and we got our stones back to normal. And uh, we can now create large pavés and large models with a lot of stones without losing memory and be, being able to complete our uh, projects.